Before the 16th century, Greek philosophers proposed different cosmological theories. The geocentric Ptolemaic system was the prevailing theory of the time, anyway. Ptolemaic? I'm to that's right, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, this theory was that each planet revolves uniformly along a circular path which revolves around Earth, and Earth goes in an even bigger circle. It's odd, but without technology, I think it's pretty impressive. Until the 16th century, when Nicolaus Copernicus and subsequently Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei proposed a heliocentric system, assuming Earth and planets revolve around the Sun at the centre of the universe, which is getting much closer than before. And as of now, the best theory we have is the cosmological principle, an assumption of cosmology stating that, on a large scale, the universe is both homogeneous and isotropic. In nicer terms, the cosmological principle basically just says that the universe is one object caused by one thing. Of, of course, boning pretty well with the Big Bang Theory on top of it. And this all sat well. You know, theories came up, but they didn't quite stick. Until now. In a recent and quite a remarkable discovery, a PhD student has identified an enormous structure in space that is challenging the cosmological principle. The James Webb Space Telescope's stunning discoveries are challenging some of what we thought to be true about the universe every single day, and these continuing advances in science technology keep changing our understanding of existence. So how does this news change our understanding of the evolution in the universe, and will it lead to a potential rewriting of physics books? In January, astronomers announced the detection of a colossal ring-shaped structure in space that they call the Big Ring. We really like this whole big and, and, and great thing we name these uh, universal. Uh, the discovery challenges some of what we thought we knew about the universe. The Big Ring is 9.2 billion light years distant from Earth, and its discovery was led by Alexia Lopez, a PhD student at the University of Central Lancashire. The ring's mass was measured by the bending of light being from quasars surrounding black holes located behind the structure. This unique formation of physical matter seems to contradict the whole cosmological principle, and it adds an important observation to a growing list of unexpectedly large cosmic structures, and its discovery raises so many questions about the completedness of our current cosmological models. It hints at the need for a potential redo of our understanding of the universe. Analyzing data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, the researchers found that the big ring structures resembled a coiled shape. This suggests that it may have formed through mechanisms such as an acoustic wave in the early universe, or the presence of cosmic strings. While some cosmologists believe that the big ring can be reconciled with existing theories, others argue that continued discoveries of such outliers or anomalies may need to change our minds about the fundamental understanding of the cosmos. The 2019 Physics Nobel laureate Jim Peebles from Princeton University he acknowledged that the universal significance of ultra-large scale structures found by Lopez and co-authors suggests that the Lambda CDM model may be approximate. Uh, sorry, this model is what we call uh, the mathematical model of the Big Bang Theory. You know? But the scientists who had made this model really hoped that anomalies lead to improved theories, but they do warn against finding structures in what might just be noise. It, imagine having a, a graph that senses both loud noises and vibrations in the ground. If a loud truck zooms past, the, the scanner could either be saying loud car or there's a huge earthquake coming, run. That's quite a terrible analogy, but you, you get the idea. You know, these readers can only tell rough ideas of things, and therefore it could be nothing, it could be even more, or we could be 100% right. You know, who, who knows anymore? Anyway, two years ago, um, Lopez discovered another ultra large structure, the giant arc. <laughs> So again, it's this big, giant, great thing. Sorry, um, which is even larger, with 3.3 billion light years across. Both the Big Ring and the Giant Arc are in the same cosmological neighborhood, which means that they are seen roughly in the same distance from Earth. Lopez explains that neither of these two ultra-large structures are easy to explain in our current understanding of the universe, and with their ultra-large sizes, distinctive shapes, and cosmological proximity, it must surely be telling us something important. But what exactly? It, she follows later with, um, We could expect maybe one exceedingly large structure in all of our observable universe, yet the ring and the arc are two huge structures and are even cosmological neighbours, which is extraordinarily fascinating. I won't let these two take all the credit, of course. Other astrophysicists have discovered other megastructures, including the Close Camposano Group, 
Okay, a group of 34 quasars that extends over 2 billion light years. The Great Wall, <laughs> these, I mean, sorry, which is a collection of galaxies that is 1.5 billion light years in diameter. The reason I'm mentioning these random mega structures is because, well, the evidence is mounting. You know, something doesn't work properly with our current theories for the universe. And Lopez had said, these oddities keep getting swept under the rug. But the more we find, we're going to have to come face to face with the fact that maybe our standard model needs rethinking. I'll cut it short here because I'm unsure of my algorithm, and science is always about finding and understanding and changing. You know, the same as my confusion on my view rate. So please do assist by sharing some of my videos or leaving comments on what to do next. On top of this, looking for patterns and symmetries seems to be a fundamental part in human nature. And we will unveil and prevail. All of us can change things, is what I'm saying, with, with the simple assisting hand, and little can stop the thirst for knowledge in all of us. Whatever the cosmic scale truth is, for the most part, you know, it's just human nature continues to demonstrate this unswerving drive in the search for meaning and answers. And I hope you do too. Thank you for watching.